All right, Mo Shores, we have a special guest, producer Chris Plummer. He's going to talk about Eliminate. Uh, and as you all may know, we had some big news break last weekend. And hopefully you can sort of explain a whole bunch of it to us. I'd love to. Awesome. Nothing would make me happier. Fantastic. how many credits you're earning mm -hmm. and then that's also tied to how much er or whether or not your character has energy mm -hmm. and I know there's been a lot of sort of discussion going on about how energy is used and, and so forth and I guess can you explain sort of that whole system to us um, sure so I mean the way energy works it, it, it the baseline is you know you're this employee for Arsenal Mega Corp you're a live weapons tester and so they're paying you to go into the arena and blast the hell out of each other and then the scientists are measuring all this stuff mm -hmm. and monitoring it and in that fictional universe, they're you know, using those results to then fine-tune weapons and create better and better equipment. So that's what you're getting paid to do. Um, your equipment interfaces with these sensors all around the combat mm -hmm. arena. So these armored panels all over the arenas are charged with all the sensory equipment and they're you know, checking everything out. So that's sort of the fiction of it. Now, as an Arsenal Megacorp employee, you know, you're working for them, so they're giving you energy every day. So when you, you know, fire up the app for the first time, uh, every day you're going to have you know, a full complement of energy and that will give you a certain number of, uh, of games that you can play where you'll earn credits. So as long as you have energy, you're going to earn credits at the end of each match. So I go in, I'm in first place, I'm going to earn the most credits. I'm in last place, I'm going to earn some credits because we want anyone who's kind of playing the game to be able to sort of progress. You're just not going to progress at the same pace as someone who's just always uh, you know, in first place, for example. Right. Um, so that's essentially how energy works. You step into the arena, a little bit of your energy gets drained. At the end of the match, you're awarded credits, and that kind of continues. Now, at some point, if you expend all of your energy, you can go into the next match and choose to just continue playing. You won't earn any credits um, because, in, you know, fictionally, your your performance is not really helping Arsenal Megacorp. Um, however, for you as a player, you can still play the game, you can use all your stuff, mm -hmm. um, you, you know, you're getting matched on global you know, servers with people from around the world, so you're getting to play the game, but you're not going to earn the credits. So um, it is definitely you know, more advantageous to be earning the credits because right. you're upgrading. Um, now you have some choices. You can do a couple things. You, know, you can practice, as I said, uh, when you run out of energy. Um, you can wait and your energy will replenish and there's a little timer that tells you how long it's going to take before mm -hmm. you get your next kind of charge and those charges will add up. Um, or you can purchase power cells, and you know power cells are basically can be converted into en energy and allow you to continue earning credits. Uh, the power cells can be purchased through iTunes, and we have other ways you can acquire uh, power, power cells as well. So when you get the game, you'll get some power cells along with it, and you can you know experience this and see how it works. Mm -hmm. So you know out of energy, boom, hit a little button, recharge, no problem. Um, or you can wait it out, or you can practice, um, and. Uh, that's essentially how power and, and energy work in the game. Awesome. Um, can you show us a little bit about like the upgrade system, sort of how that works? Uh, yeah. Let me fire up a uh, fire up the game. Cool. And bam! Check that out. 